warm welcome to all you beautiful learners to an academy which is india's largest online learning platform the chapter that we are going to study today is a pact with the sun and this is chapter number 8 from your book a pact with the sun and welcome to my class dear learners my name is sweksha sahai and i am your english educator i have always been very passionate about learning and teaching languages apart from english i know two other languages which are french and spanish that was a little bit about me and as you all know you can always ace your school with an academy subscriptions the plus subscription is right now coming at a flat 10% discount if you use my code sws10 and with that let's begin with your chapter a pact with the sun a little background about the story saida's mother has not received proper medical treatment for her complaints she is denied healthy food sunshine and fresh air at last she consults a physician who gives her effective medicine and sound advice so saida's mother has been ailing for a long time ailing means to be sick fever cough body ache painful joints and what not treated by a variety of physicians for weeks she often showed signs of improvement but she relapsed into her old sick self uh just as sick self one complaint substituted by another so uh the meaning of relapse is to get back to the old uh self now what and it is mostly used when we are talking about diseases so when a fever comes back we say the fever has relapsed okay so that is what was happening with saida all the things that she was facing used to uh, get better for some time but always came back so it all relapsed through the weak and color uh, though weak and colorless she was forbidden normal food and was under strict orders to remain perpetually confined in her small dingy room with doors and windows fastened deprived of sunshine and air she was forbidden means she was not allowed perpetually means always okay so she was not allowed to go out she was always supposed to remain indoors in a dingy dingy means a room which is very small and there is no fresh air and it doesn't have even sunlight that is dingy when she became critical her relatives and neighbors persuaded persuaded means kisi ko manana yani to uh, make someone agree to something persuaded her to consult a specialist even though his fee was likely to be high so what happens she became very seriously ill then her neighbors and relatives advised her to go for another physician even though the fees was high saida agreed to that saida's mother life is more precious than money they said saida's mother was poor but she heeded to heed means to listen to okay kisi ki baat sunna heeded to their advice and sold a few trinkets trinkets means pieces of jewelry okay trinkets to pay the doctor's fee and the cost of medicine the doctor came in a few days and examined her and prescribed effective but costly medicine to the question as to what she should eat he said anything that you wish to eat chapati vegetables milk fruits etc in addition to all this he added emphatically emphatically means energetically okay leave this dark and hovel leave this dark leave the leave this dark hovel and occupy a bigger room with doors and windows open so a hovel means a small hole okay so he said please leave this small hovel and occupy a bigger room with a lot of sunlight and fresh air so that was the advice sit in the sun every morning from 8 to 9 sunshine and fresh air he concluded are more important than medicine so this doctor who was very wise he gave this advice that sunshine and fresh air was more important than everything else the doctor and his advice became a subject of noisy commentary among all present some favored while others opposed it 
so all the neighbors they were some were for it some were against it exposure to sun and air for someone afflicted afflicted means who someone was suffering okay afflicted with chronic cough was dangerous and experienced lady declared a younger neighbor nearly quarreled with her over this too exhausted to participate in the debate saida's mother remained quiet but determined to follow the doctor's advice forget the consequences she said at last i'll carry out his instructions to the letter move my bed into the next room and let me sit in the sun on my charpoy for an hour daily a charpoy is nothing but a small bed okay and um, it so happened the sky remained overcast the next morning overcast means clouded the same was the case in the following day saida's mother was dejected dejected means to be hopeless she muttered oh lord of mine why have you ordered the sun to remain hidden how will i ever be cured so she was very upset and she was dejected she was hopeless and she was asking god why is the sun not coming and how will i ever be cured saida was playing with her doll nearby and she heard her mother's lament lament means sadness but kept calm later in the afternoon when she stumbled on a spot of pale sunshine in the courtyard she ran to her mother to say the sun was there no no said everybody present it's too late and chilly your mother can't go out and sit there disheartened saida returned to her doll there was no sun really except for its last remnant entangled in the top branches of the family mango tree remnant means last remaining bacha hua okay now children have uh, now children have at their command a secret language foreign to grown ups which means it's not known by grown ups okay all together in which they fluently communicate with trees flowers animals the sun the moon perhaps even with the almighty using that special language saida addressed her remark to the last departing rays of the sun the so saida was talking to the last departing ray rays of the sun so last going ray saida caught it and she was talking to it dear sister do come tomorrow with lots of warmth and brightness you see my mother is ill and needs your help so saida with a lot of hope she started talking to the last departing sun ray and she requested the sun ray to come down tomorrow let's see what happens next so surely answered the light don't look unhappy will be there at the next hour next day early in the morning when the sprightly sun rays embellished themselves uh, for their journey down to earth the sun said it's our day off again we are staying up here the road to earth is blocked by an army of thick mucky clouds so thick mucky clouds uh, mucky means not clear okay so whenever there is cloud in the sky it's not clear right so the uh, sun uh, the path of earth was blocked by thick mucky clouds and that is why it was sun's day off the little rays so much wanted to go down for a lark but they remained quiet one of them though who had made a pact with little saida said sir i can't stay back i have given my word to saida whose mother is ill and needs our help i'll peer through the clouds to reach saida's courtyard how else will her mother be cured hearing this all the rays nearly staged a revolt against their father the sun fancy staying back again they said in a single voice what will the people of earth say about us that we of the heavens have turned liars so what happened this ray had made a pact with saida and then all the rays united against their father who was the sun and they said that if we don't go the people on the earth will think that we are liars the sun relented please yourself please yourself means do as you like mind your clothes though the clouds are mucky never mind our clothes we can always change 
but go we must and the rays rushed down to earth the clouds stood guard between them and saida's courtyard the little rays focused their heat and they had enough of it on the battalion of crowds which had to flee from its post the rays got through shooting past the bewildered clouds they were already late so what happened the rays came through the clouds saida saw the whole host of them approaching and her heart leapt with joy so she was very happy and she shouted amma amma the sun is here come out the old lady's eyes welled up with tears and gratitude her charpoy was placed in the courtyard and she sat on it for an hour reclining against the bolsters to recline means to rest against something okay recline means whenever we take rest against the wall or against a pillow that is called recline it had been months since she had felt the sun on her hands and face and breath in fresh air she thought she was in a new world though pale her face glowed and her eyes shone bright so she was enjoying the sunlight after many many days the morning air brought in new fragrance and nearby flowers the birds chanted a new tune saida's mother felt better already so what happened with the sun rays reaching saida's mother she started feeling much better and she was able to enjoy everything that was around she is fully recovered now but she still follows the doctor's advice an hour of sunlight and lung fulls of fresh air every day so this has a lesson for all of us as well that sunlight and fresh air are the best medicines to most of our problems now let's look at the question answers what did the physician ask saida's mother to do did the advice work for her if not why The physicians had advised her mother to stay indoors and eat simple food. The advice didn't work for her because staying away from the sun made her more sick. We already saw in the first page what had happened. What did the specialist describe to her in addition to medicines? The specialist advised her ample sunlight and fresh air apart from medicines. What did Saida tell her, tell the sun rays to do to do Saida had requested the sun's ray to come the next day and heal her mother Why were the sun rays keen to go down the next day The sun rays were keen to go down the next day because they had promised to help Saida And with that we come to the end of this chapter but you must always go ahead and subscribe to the unacademy's plus subscription which has great features you can learn in live classes from india's top educators there is unlimited access to all our courses regular doubt clearing and answer writing sessions there is practice tests live test series batch courses and mentorship and guidance and what not so these this is one of the best subscriptions that we have and um, apart from this we also have an iconic one about which we will know in the next few slides the pricing for the unacademy's plus subscription is on the screen and you can use my code sws10 to get a flat 10% discount on this pricing and as i told you earlier uh, we have the iconic subscription which has all the benefits of plus subscription and you also get personal mentorship which means you are assigned a one on one mentor there is live doubt solving weekly report parent connect study planner and all the above all the other benefits of the plus subscription the pricing is on the screen right now and you can always use my code sws10 to get a flat 10% discount so that is it uh, in this uh, class please do like share and subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell icon so that you never ever miss an any class from us thank you so much for watching this video and i'll be back in the next one with the next chapter thanks a lot and see you all in the next class